Hello children, let's continue to read lesson 2 from the computer reader book. But before we start, let's do one activity which will help us to recall what we have learnt yesterday. Now, in this activity, we have to complete the names of the places where computers are used. Here are some of the places. The names are written here, but some of the letters are missing. So, can you tell me what will be the first one? Yes. H-O-M-E. Home. Computers are used at home. Now, the second one is S. H O P shops. Computers are used in shops for making the bills, for making a list of items and typing them and printing them. Then number three H O S P I T A L hospital. Yesterday we have learned that the computers are used in the hospitals to detect many diseases and to make uh, to take the test reports and also to check their eyesight etc then number 4 is s c h o l in schools also we see computers are used regularly teachers are using them and children are also using when they have their computer period. Now, the fifth one is B A N K bank. Computers are also used in the bank as well as number six is A I R P O R T airport. Computers are also used in the airports where it is used to book your tickets, to make the list of passengers etc now you have to open up your computer reader book on page number 20 let us open it now today we will learn about the role of computers in learning and teaching computer is a wonderful machine children it has made learning of subjects very interesting for the students. Now let us study its role in teaching and learning. Role in teaching and learning. The first role it is uh, lots of information at one click. That means the computer is uh, with the help of internet acts as an ocean of information. Both students and teachers can benefit from it. It can search and get answers of any question just at a single click of a computer mouse. And teachers are also benefited. Teachers get material on any topic and get ideas on various activities such as quizzes, worksheets and setting the question papers you can see. Teachers can make the worksheets nowadays we are making and sending it to you on uh, your mobile phones. Then when in exam we set the question paper also using the computer. And we can do many more things using the computer. Now the second thing is better presentation. Whatever uh, work you get it is very attractive presented and the presentation is very very good see it is written here with the help of a computer information can be easily modified and presented in a better way now the third use third role in teaching is use of audio and video aids now let's read on page number 21 use of audio video aids with the help of different audio video clips teacher can make their lessons interactive and next is colors sounds and movements of the objects add a fun element 
to the learning process see when you uh, must have seen in some readers this type of series are given interactive series which you play in your computer and then you will find that the subject becomes so easy to understand and uh, there are some educational games also in and series also to motivate the students and help them to learn in a play way method now again what is given use of smart class has simplified the learning and teaching methods and this smart class also works with the help of a computer and the last one is online teaching and testing so nowadays children you are well aware all the teachers they are at home and they are not able to come to school and the children are also sitting at home so we are using this online teaching method to teach the children and let us read now education ha ha is not limited to the classrooms only and teachers and students can interact with each other even if they are miles apart and online test can be conducted and results can be maintained quickly so here we end the lesson number 2 role of computer and you must have done the assignments i had given you two questions uh answer the following how computers are helpful at home and uh, how computers are used in the hospital you must have written the answers of these two questions and i had also given you some jumble words and complete the names of the places where the computers are used okay and you must have also done the back exercise on page number 22 where we have done question number a fill in the blanks question number b true or false question number c match the following and question number d tick the right answer and on page number 24 we have we have done fill in the blanks by arranging the jumbled words here i read it for you I love to play games on a computer at my dash here are, here are the words and we are in uh, using this uh, boxes and we are making the correct spelling of the word h o m e now second is my teacher uses a computer in the dash for preparing report cards and looking at these jumble words we can rearrange them and we can make a correct spelling which comes to be s c h w o l school so teachers are using computers in the school to prepare report cards number 3 my father uses a computer at his the correct word is office o w f i c e office number 4 computers are used in banks for keeping the details of the accounts so children please learn all the given assignments and the back exercise of lesson 2 and all those who have not done this work kindly do it okay then have a nice day take care children and keep learning